What's going on everybody, this is Mosato G here. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and we are back with another video today. I am going to show you guys every operator in the Rainbow Six Siege open beta. The first operator I'm gonna show you is the first operators I'm gonna show you are the attackers and then I'm gonna show you the defenders. So the very first attacker we have here is Thatcher. Thatcher uses EMP grenades to disable any enemy any enemy electro electronics in range. His loadout is the these two guns, the AR-33 Assault Rifle and the L-85A2 Assault Rifle. Secondary weapon of a P-22-6 MK-25 pistol. Gadgets of a breaching charge and a flashbang or a stun grenade. His details and statistics are just stuff that you... Like, his details and statistics are stuff when you use him online, so... This doesn't need to be known, and I can read you more about him in another video. This video, I mean, in this this next operator is Ash. She's another attacker, the second attacker. She uses a breaching round charge. See that little grenade launcher thing? She shoots it into um, a surface, and the little thing, grenade launcher thing, burrows into a surface and automatically detonates. Her loadout is a G36C assault rifle. And it's an R4C assault rifle, FBI SWAT standard issue assault rifle, and this is just regular 5.56 millimeter caliber ammunition assault rifle. Secondary of M45 Musadic, we're in 1911, and this is a 5.7 USG or 5.7. Gadgets of a breaching charge and a smoke grenade. She has light armor, and Thatcher has medium armor. Thermite. We, we already know who Thermite is. He was in the last video, but if you didn't see him, his two primary weapons are an M1014 shotgun and 50, 556XI assault rifle. The second new weapons have an M1911 and a 5.7 USG. It has a frag grenade and a breach charge as his gadgets. Details and statistics, like I said before, are only for online use. And... His Brimestone BC-3 exothermic charge, that's an exothermic charge that destroys reinforced walls. And her, I don't know what her thing is called. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. Hold out. She, what's her, what was I just looking at? I don't remember what I was looking at, whatever. Let's go to the next attacker. Yeah, next attacker is Montang. His primary weapon is his extendable shield, and that's that's his that's it, just an extendable shield. His secondary weapon is a P9 pistol, and the LFP586 Magnum 3.57 revolver, and this is nine millimeter. He has gadgets of a stun grenade and the smoke grenade. Um, that's it. That's all he has. He, he doesn't have any assault rifles or anything, so the only thing you have is the extendable shield, which can go over your legs for full body protection. Next, we have Glaz. He's new. This is a new character, just like this, is like Thatcher and Ash. They're new characters. Glaz uses toggles and magnification scope on his main weapon, increasing accuracy of long range targeting. He has like a Dragonov sniper. This is a Russian sniper that you can use. It's semi semi automatic. Very high damage. The highest damage in the whole game, 180. Long range rifle, high recoil per shot with a very small magazine used by Spetsnaz, just like a Dragon Elf would be used. This is an OTS-03. His secondary weapon is a GSH-18 and a PMM 9mm pistol sidearm. They're both 9mm pistols, but I guess this one just has lower damage than this does. His gadgets of a smoke grenade and a breaching charge. And that's it. This is Glass. This is the new character. Just like Ash and Thatcher. Wait, let's, let's look at the whole body of all of them. This is her whole body. And then this is Thatcher's whole body. He looks like smoke. And then here's Thermite's whole body. 
and then Montang. This is all Montang. He's a GIGN. We saw Glez, and now let's do our sixth operator, which is Blitz. He uses a flash shield. It triggers the flash attached to his ballistic shield to temporarily blind enemies. This is what he looks like right here. Big ass earmuff things. <laughs> Damn, he big ass ears. And this is what he looks like. He does not have extendable shield, like what's his name does. The one, the shield. But you see that little flash thing under where it says police. Not police, the police, because there's a Z in it. There's like flashlight things, flashes you and temporarily blind for a while. That's his G52 tactical shield, triggers a flash attached to his ballistic shield to temporarily blind enemies. Secondary weapon of one pistol, it's a .45 semi-automatic pistol that has low free recoil and best in mid-range combat. Its smoke grenades are, its gadgets are smoke grenades and breaching charges, and that's it for bullets. On to our last attacking operator is IQ. She's an electronics detector. She uses her le electronic detector to locate enemy electronics in rage through obstacles such as walls. And she does it through floors too. This is what she looks like. Those purple shoes and that purple hoodie she has under the other hoodie. She has light armor and her loadout is an AUG, A2, a sword rifle. One of the fastest assault rifles in the game. 5.52, 552 Commando, 30 round magazine, 690 bullets per minute, and 770 per minute for this AUG. And then she has a G8, A1 LMG, accurate in the short to medium range, capable of long range control fire. Holds up to 50 bullets though. Secondary weapon is a P12, .45 caliber, just like Blitz. Gadgets of a breaching charge and a stun grenade. And that's the attackers. Let's go to the defenders now. We met Mute before. This is Mute. And this is his whole body. His loadout. He has a MP5K submachine gun, 9mm. And he has a M59OA1 shot, 12 gauge shotgun. Holds up to 7 bullets. His secondary of P226 MK25. His gadgets is a nitro cell. A nitro cell is like a detonated C4, really. And deployable shield. Deployable shields can be used only on defenders. And nitro cells too. Castles are new and next defender that came into the open beta. This is this is what he looks like right here. And this is his loadout. He has a UMP-45 submachine gun for FBI SWAT. And an M1014, just like Thermite. Secondary weapons of 57, 5.7 USG. And an M45 Musonic M1911 gadgets of a deployable shield and barbed wire. And this, again, is Castle. Medium armor. I'll tell you all the armors once I'm done, everybody. Hopefully I don't remember. I do remember. This is Pulse. This is our next guy. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't get to tell you. Uh, mute. He's a signal disruptor. He jams communications for remotely detonated gadgets or drones. So any drones that are being used will be disrupted and you cannot use them anymore. And any other gadgets too. Castle. He sets bulletproof barricades. More resistant standard ones. So like the barricades that he puts up are bulletproof, but you can blast through them. And... Pulse has a cardiac sensor. Sensor, he detects heartbeats at a short distance through obstacles with like a little like iPad thing on his face or his glasses. I'm not sure, but here's Pulse. This wait, this is what Pulse looks like right here. This does not look like him at all in the picture, but this is what he looks like. And this is his loadout. It's an M1014 shotgun, UMP45. N1911, 5.7 USG, barbed wire as gadgets, and nitro cell as a second gadget. And this is, again, Pulse. On to our fifth, fourth, fourth defender. We met Doc before. He's another one that came back to the open beta. 
This is what Doc looks like. This is his loadout. He has a SG CQB shotgun. Pump action, 12 gauge. This is an MP5 submachine gun. Just like the MP5K, just this is a bigger extended version. And this is the P90 submachine gun, fast rate of fire with high with high firing rate and a big capacity of ammo. Secondary weapons of a P9 and a LFP 586 revolver. Gadgets of a barbed wire and a deployable shield. And that was, this is again Doc. Doc for the GIGN class. They're all separate and different classes. And Doc also has a stim pistol. It fires a hypodermic shot to revive himself or teammates from a distance when the operator is down. This new character who came to our defenders is Capcan. He has an entry denial device, such as like a trip mine. He sets booby traps on windows and or door frames. <sighs> this is Capcan. Right here. He looks like a ghillie suit. His whole outfit looks like a ghillie suit. And this is his loadout. He has a 9x19 VSN submachine gun. This is a 9mm submachine gun with high penetration and this is a SAS SAS G12 this is highly both of these guns are highly used by Russians in war combat anything like that this is a shotgun this is a submachine gun secondary weapons of PMM handgun 9mm and a GSH 18 9mm gadgets of a barbed wire and nitro cell and that was the end of his loadout of Capcan. To our fifth op, wait, fifth, sixth operator, Tachanka. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think it's Tach Tachanka. I think that's his name. That's how I'm pronounce it. So his specialty is a mounted LMG. He deploys a mounted LMG usable by the whole entire team. So anybody can use it once he mounts his mounts his M his LMG. Look at him. This is Tachenka. He has the same exact loadout as Capcan, really. So it's the same exact loadout. It just looks back. It's just backwards. The shotgun will be over here. This pistol will be over here, and this will be here. But yeah, it's just it's just the same loadout, just backwards. And the last defender, Bandit, Bandit did come back from the other the closed beta. This is what he looks like. He is also pleased and just like Blitz. He has the same exact helmet as Blitz too. I didn't even realize that. And here's his loadout. He has an MP7 submachine gun. Close range. High penetration. And very high firing rate. And that's that's it. It's just a really great submachine gun. The M870 shotgun. 12 gauge small shotgun. That can reach very long. It has a long barrel on it, so it can. It's a small shotgun that can reach very far. Secondary weapon of only a P12, .45 caliber semi-automatic pistol, and two gadgets of a barbed wire and nitro cell. That's a C4. And now I'm gonna tell you all the armor for everybody. So Thatcher has medium armor. Ash has very has light armor. Thermite has medium armor. Montang has heavy armor. Glass has heavy armor. No. Heavy armor? No, Glass has medium armor. Blitz has a heavy armor. IQ has light armor. Mute has medium armor. Castle has medium armor. Pulse has light armor. Doc has heavy armor. Capcan has heavy armor. Tachanka has heavy armor. And Bandit has light armor. And that was all the new operators in the open beta but don't worry smoke blit smoke rook fuse and sledge are four operators that did not come back to the open beta but they will come back to the full game so don't worry they will be coming back there will be 20 operators opened and for everybody to buy on the full day on on the day the game comes out which is tuesday in two days December 1st, so, yep, get ready for the...
siege day so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it so like always stay healthy stay sexy and i will see you guys in my next video